Hello and welcome to Two Vermin Control. I'm Pete, just a very quick video today, fitting a bipod onto the sling stud we fitted in our previous video. Obviously like, comment, subscribe, scroll down, do what you can, we need the support, it's great. So basically on the rifle uh, we have the front stud we've already fitted two holes in. On this bipod uh, you have two pins on the front there, so we loosen that off so the pins are open nice and wide and then they are going either side of the holes on the stud. Um, most people have the legs facing forward on the bipod. Obviously if you shoot your 2-2 put them where you want, we don't care really. Um, so the two little holes go over there and then you just tighten the knob on top which brings it down onto the stock. And that is it, literally, takes seconds. Um, watch your fingers on these points. If you're folding the legs back, don't put nothing in there. It will chop it off, it does hurt. Um, so spring-loaded legs, just open back or forwards for two two owners. Um, and we've got a little ring there, two two owners, stay away from that ring, uh, for attaching a uh, sling. So this is a ZDO bipod um, purchased online, nice carbon fibre style legs on it. Um, I've been using one of these for about three years. Uh, it costs 25 quid. Uh, it's been used, abused, banged on things, heavily, heavily used, um, and it's still fine. So, uh, good little bipod, and they have got a bit of adjustment. Obviously, six inch leg height, press the button, and it is about half inch increments. Um, six to nine inch obviously nine on full adjustment there so nice and solid and if you are using any shooting sticks or resting on fences you can always use this point and then you're not scratching up the stock or damaging your gun so that is it fitted done see you in the next video like comment subscribe thank you